Hello royal folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Meghan Markle is criticized for everything that she does, and she was slammed for not paying tribute to Queen Elizabeth on her podcast Archetypes. Royal fans know that the new episodes of Archetypes were recorded before Her Majesty's passed away. But some royal experts are saying that it wouldn't have hurt if she still found a way to honor Prince Harry's grandmother. While speaking with Fox News Digital, royal expert Kinsey Schofield said that Queen Elizabeth did a lot of things and had so many contributions to Britain and the whole world when she was still alive. So it would have been nicer if Meghan Markle remembered her for the things that she did. All Archetypes podcast episodes were recorded before the death of Queen Elizabeth U. Since Megan's brand seems to highlight feminism, and the podcast is about fighting misconceptions and labels on women that hold them back, it wouldn't have hurt to add a simple intro or goodbye, thanking the Queen for her lifetime of service, she said. Schofield also pointed out that Markle's podcast focuses on feminism, and the Queen paved the way for feminism to be practiced in Britain. The Queen was also known for performing her duties without relying on Prince Philip so all the more should Markle pay tribute to her. He would think that Meghan would acknowledge her lifetime of service beyond putting a Variety magazine cover on hold, but who am I to judge? In general, it's hard for me to take Meghan seriously as a feminist when every opportunity that has been presented to her over the last five years is a direct result of the man that she married, she said. Schofield did not also shy away from saying that Markle doesn't compare to the late Princess Diana even though some royal fans see similarities between the two women. She said that Prince William and Prince Harry's late mother became a beloved figure because of her passion and empathy. She was photographed hugging AIDS patients, carrying children, and bonding with the poorest of the poor. Markle, on the other hand, is hiring photographers to take her photos during her engagements. I see very little of Princess Diana in Meghan's latest efforts. What we loved about Diana was seeing her with people holding children, laughing with the elderly, the empathy and compassion written all over her body. Diana wouldn't have taken photographers or a camera crew with her to Uvalde. Everything Megan does seems superficial and lacks depth and warmth, she said. This is not the first time that Schofield criticized Markle. Prior to the Queen's death, the royal expert accused the Duchess of Sussex of being fixated on what other people thought of her. And just last week, Schofield also accused Markle of being obsessed with keeping details of Archie's birth a secret. It was not just Harry that was obsessed with keeping the details a secret. Meghan thought the entire ordeal was barbaric and did not want to participate. Meghan originally didn't even want to have the baby in a hospital. The Duchess wanted to do everything in secret at home but was told there could be too many complications since it was a geriatric pregnancy, she said. So what do you think guys, please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then thanks for watching, we'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.